Yo, it's Doctor. Cool, we come back to the channel. Let's dive into the intriguing world of Maxwell Chikumbutso groundbreaking disruptive technology and the concept of zero-point energy. Why not instead of attempting to crucify this genius who cracked the code of unlimited free renewable green energy, let's embrace it and explore without bias or pulling race card, and explore the what if. Attempting to silence it by any means necessary is utterly cowardice, weakling and looser mindset. Has the Western world stopped thinking outside the box, while still go about selling snake oil about green energy, eco-friendly bullshit just like democracy, a tool for control and oppression? This groundbreaking idea as we know it, like it not could potentially change the way we think about power forever. Unlimited power maybe soon another genius will soon crack the code of unlimited free internet data. For over a century, energy has remained a controlled commodity. With breakthroughs in free or unlimited energy often met with skepticism, suppression, or outright dismissal. When Nikola Tesla attempted to introduce wireless and limitless energy for humanity, his work was abruptly shut down by powerful financial interests such as J.P. Morgan and Thomas Edison, who saw no way to profit from it. Now, in a world still controlled by centralized energy systems, Maxwell Chikumbutso, an inventor from Zimbabwe, appears to have rediscovered what Tesla was onto, a self-powered energy device that seems to defy the second law of thermodynamics. This strongly suggests that his invention is tapping into the same energy source that scientists call zero-point energy, or ZPE. Here is a clip of Maxwell Chikumbutso attempting to describe the energy sources with Foster Gambles and engineer Rodney from USA for validation and certification. To have built a car, a generator, and even a helicopter that ran on radio frequencies, a true free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged. It took me several months to find him, but when I did, it blew my mind. This time we took engineer Nils Rognerud to assist with the vetting. When Nils and I arrived and met Maxwell, I was very impressed with just what a gentle, true-seeming soul he was. And then the next morning, we went to see the device, and he gave us a full tour. I was practically ecstatic. It was such a beautiful, elegant device. What we're looking at is called the green power of grid machine. It is half a megawatt, and we are relying with the radio frequency. Behind is a radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. It is called a microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the generator in this machine. For people who are not familiar with this, half a megawatt, how much will that power in terms of a house or a community or what? We're talking of about 300 uh, standard house homes yeah, okay. that you can power with one machine. So there's no oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything, so, we're, 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 so where's the energy coming from? We're harnessing it straight away from the the, nat the natural energy that God has just put in the earth, in, in, in our, on our earth, yeah, the radio frequency. So nothing unusual, but the, the main point is that a meter away, there's no frequencies being transmitted from a, a microwave tower uh, next to the park we're standing in. It's a poignant day for us here, and amidst the excitement of seeing this for the first time, a couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices, and Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government, and I didn't know they were coming. Unfortunately, we're, we're truly concerned about this gentleman, and we're just gonna take every precaution that we can to keep ourselves safe, to keep him safe, and to keep this knowledge safe. The microphone we had on Maxwell picked up the conversation that he had with one of the officials. So we quickly got the tape translated and found out that the government official was promising Maxwell a power purchase agreement where the government would pay him for generating energy for the country. It was good corroboration that they believed he had what he claimed Although, Maxwell didn't trust him because the government had already put him in prison in an effort to steal his technology.
Big Blue started at 4.36 p.m. We're here with Maxwell and the test is starting. Once we arrived on site, our goal for the vetting was to establish that the device could power a welding machine, which uses a lot of electricity very quickly, for long enough that it couldn't be running on batteries alone. So you were asking where the energy came from. You mentioned the other day the sun, but it's not like solar energy. I, no, right? it's yeah. not. We're not using solar energy because this one is not even affected with clouds, light, and things right. like that. It just work. So the, the energy, the, the radio frequencies that you're harnessing, yeah. th are they there in space, in the field all the time? Yes, they are from the first day we started to test the machine, we have been analyzing and we saw that the radio frequency is there. But one thing that we want to know for sure is, is it alien or is it, is it man-made from another planet or <laughs> is it from God? That's where we need, I think, scientifically, scientific people to define exactly. But we know the radio frequency, we have everything. Yeah. If it's still a fully charged battery, the test is successful. It's not screws. Oh, that's 217. That's, that's perfect. We get it. So that's the, that's the 18 battery. Yeah, that's the 18 batteries. Oh, yeah. So that's higher than the nominal voltage. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. That is awesome. That's the 18 uh, volt battery. So it has higher voltage. <laughs> Thank you. Give us two thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> One final check of the battery voltage revealed a shocking result. Not only had the machine outlasted the expected battery life, but the batteries were still fully charged. This proved that the device was being powered from an unknown energy source. <laughs> thank you. This is one of the happiest days of my life. Thank you. And I am so proud of this man who has gone through so much. He's listened to the voice of the divine coming through him and he's done whatever it takes to bring this through for humanity. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. Ah. <coughs> now we're gonna get you well. The test we did yesterday is historic. Uh, I still am digesting it because it basically means the end of fossil fuels. You just heard Maxwell trying to describe the source of energy to Foster Gambles and engineer Rodney. In his own language, due to the fact that Maxwell is not a scientist. Zero point energy refers to the lowest possible energy state that a quantum system can have. Unlike classical physics, which assumes that energy levels drop to zero at absolute zero temperature, quantum mechanics suggests that even in a vacuum, there are still fluctuations of energy due to the uncertainty principle. This means that space is not truly empty, but filled with a limitless reservoir of energy. Quantum fields continuously vibrate even at their lowest state. If a method to extract and amplify this energy could be developed, it would provide an endless supply of power. However, Western scientists have historically struggled to harness this energy because of one critical challenge. They lacked the right tool to extract it efficiently. This was the main limitation that kept zero-point energy in the realm of theory rather than practical application. This is the junction the divine inspired Maxwell Chikumbutso into cracking the code the Western engineers and science-based couldn't. And Maxwell Chikumbutso said something about this again, which connects the perfect dot through a device he invented. And this device is what Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered technology is centered around. Gentlemen and ladies, meet the microsonic energy device, the audacity of hope to humanity, unquenchable energy crisis, now a reality. Now enter Maxwell Chikumbutso, whose technology might just be the missing link between theoretical zero-point energy and real-world energy independence. Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered invention and zero-point energy have some key resemblances. For one, both extract energy from the ambient environment. Maxwell Chikumbutso's microsonic energy device is said to extract energy from the surrounding environment. 
just as zero-point energy suggests the presence of limitless energy in space. During an interview with Foster Gamble, Chikumbutso explained that his technology extracts nano-energy from the atmosphere, which hints at a possible interaction with the quantum vacuum. Similarly, ZPE researchers believe that the quantum vacuum contains untapped energy that, if successfully extracted, could power the world infinitely. Check one, check, check. This raises the question, could Chikumbutso's technology be the first successful attempt at harnessing zero-point energy? Two, both challenge the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that energy naturally flows from a higher state to a lower state, meaning that energy loss is inevitable in any closed system. However, both zero-point energy and Chikumbutso's invention contradict this principle. Chikumbutso's device reportedly generates power indefinitely without an external fuel source or a decrease in efficiency. ZPE suggests that energy exists in a quantum vacuum indefinitely, meaning energy can be extracted endlessly without depletion. This contradiction has led mainstream scientists to dismiss such ideas as impossible. Yet the presence of the Casimir effect, a proven quantum phenomenon, where energy fluctuations exert measurable force, proves that vacuum energy is real. Could it be that Chikumbutso has discovered a method to stabilize and harvest these fluctuations into usable electricity? 3. The concept of self-sustaining energy. A defining feature of zero-point energy is that it does not require external fuel. It exists everywhere in space, waiting to be tapped. Chikumbutso's generator works continuously without being plugged into any power grid. Zero-point energy is theorized to be self-sustaining and omnipresent. Both systems provide energy without the need for refueling. This makes Chikumbutso's technology a practical demonstration of what physicists have theorized but never successfully built. 4. A new tool for energy extraction. One of the main reasons why Western scientists could not harness zero-point energy is that they lacked the correct device to tap into it. Chikumbutso claims that his microsonic energy device is the first tool that successfully extracts atmospheric energy at a nanoscale and amplifies it into usable power. If true, this would mean that Western scientists failed to develop the right technology which is why zero-point energy remained theoretical. Chikumbutso, driven by intense passion and subconscious guidance, may have unlocked a practical method for extracting this energy. This aligns with the idea that scientific progress doesn't always come from academia, but sometimes from individual inventors with a visionary mindset, as seen with Nikola Tesla. How did Maxwell Chikumbutso achieve this without formal scientific training? One of the most mysterious aspects of Chikumbutso's story is that he is a high school dropout with no formal education in physics or engineering. Yet he claims to have developed revolutionary energy technology through sheer passion and intuition. This mirrors the stories of other inventors who had sudden insights that changed history. Nikola Tesla described how he received visions of entire electrical systems in his mind before even writing them down. Thomas Townsend Brown discovered electrogravitics while experimenting with high-voltage energy fields, despite lacking mainstream recognition. Maxwell Chikumbutso states that his subconscious mind guided him toward building the microsonic energy device, suggesting that there may be a divine or intuitive element to his discoveries. Could it be that some inventors tap into a higher level of consciousness where knowledge flows beyond the limits of formal education? Why is this technology not mainstream? If Chikumbutso's technology is real, why isn't the world embracing it? There are several possible reasons. 1. Energy is a controlled industry. Just as J.P. Morgan shut down Tesla, those who control the world's energy resources may not allow disruptive technology to reach the public. 
A self-powered generator threatens oil, coal, nuclear, and even renewable energy markets. 2. Scientific Gatekeeping Western academia rejects anything that contradicts the second law of thermodynamics, making it nearly impossible for Chikumbutso's work to be accepted in mainstream science. 3. Possible suppression or covert adoption. If Chikumbutso has truly cracked zero-point energy, powerful interests may have already moved to control or suppress it. Some breakthroughs never reach the public, but are instead absorbed into classified military projects. Conclusion. Is Maxwell Chikumbutso's invention a working zero-point energy device? The similarities between zero-point energy theory and Chikumbutso's self-powered generator are too strong to ignore. Both extract energy from an unseen source. Both contradict the second law of thermodynamics. Both offer a self-sustaining energy solution. Both require the right tool to harness the energy, which mainstream science has yet to achieve. If Chikumbutso's invention is indeed harnessing zero-point energy, then we are looking at one of the greatest technological revolutions in history, one that could free humanity from energy dependence forever. The real question is, will the world allow this technology to be embraced, or will it be buried like Tesla's dream of free energy?